Mm -hmm. All right, well, inside a suburban high school, there are pictures of African American icons on the wall in a hallway. And next to each picture is a photo of a student who resembles people who are a part of black history. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing takes us inside Amherst High School for a one of a kind project. It's called Put Your Best Face Forward. The faces of Amherst High students were matched with prominent figures. Here's Dr. King. I didn't know it was going to be like this. This is amazing. And they are on the wall for all to see. Alia Vandy is portrayed as Viola Davis. It made me feel really empowered to be recreating the picture of such a strong, iconic, beautiful woman. I like the idea that people were seeing students as those people. Amherst High teacher Pam Fordham wanted to put a different spin on Black History Month. The idea of students being able to really see themselves in these historical figures, in these famous figures, in a meaningful way. When Ms. Fordham brought up the idea, you know, it seemed very interesting. I believe that Black History Month is a reminder for people that we can press for change in positive manners, that we can learn and reflect off of history. I mean, like, when you look at great icons like Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks, they stepped out of their way to help their fellow man. I believe that this is a great time period for everyone because it pushes everybody to be themselves and to strive for a better future. Put Your Best Face Forward celebrates African Americans of the past like Shirley Chisholm, who said, I am and always will be a catalyst for change. And Thurgood Marshall, when we intend to do good, we do. No hate, it's all been positive. It's really a way to honor these kids as individuals and also to celebrate who they're emulating. It really plants in our heads, our young people's mind, that we can do anything we want to, we can reach for the stars, and don't let anyone tell you no. The Put Your Best Face Forward is a big hit inside of Amherst High School, and next year, students hope it will expand. Quadine Ewing, Channel 2 News.